Hey everyone, we're back with some more live video game hunting. I've been to around 15 charity shops over the last few weeks, so I've got some footage to show you from that. And it's been a while since my last upload, so I've got around a month worth of pickups to go through as well. Um, so look, let's just get straight into the game hunting footage, and when we come back we'll go through everything that I picked up. <laughs> Excited at the end there. I honestly thought that was going to be a, a boxed Wii, Wii Sports Resort in it. Uh, it was a five euro sticker, and so I probably should have known better. It was just mixed little bits and pieces of toys and stuff like that. So, uh, no joy there, but look, we'll, we'll keep going and see what happens in the next one. <laughs> Actually got a couple of bits in that last one. Um, I just picked up two books for personal use. The greatest of all time, Pelo de Canio. The greatest of all time, Chris Jericho. Uh, they had uh, Rayman Raven rabbits for the Wii. I think it's only worth about a euro, but I don't have it, so I said we grab it. And then this Just Dance 2019 for the PS4. It was marked for five. It has to be worth more than five in trade. It took a bit of a chance, but Just Dance games I think are normally pretty reliable, and they got charged. Six euro overall for the lot, so did well there. Just about to jump into stock number four now, see how we get on. So no joy in that one. First time I've actually seen PSP games in one of the charity shops. It was just, uh, I think it was an old Pro Evo soccer or uh, football manager games. There was a few DS ones, but again, they're all kids, pony fecking things. I don't know. Maybe one of them was worth 20 quid and I left it behind. I don't know. Um, so yeah, look, we're going to move on to the next one and see what we find. <laughs>
So yeah, that was the cane hunting over the last few weeks. Uh, not as successful as our last video. Uh, we got a few bits that are going to trade decent enough though. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably take them uh, and add them to a little pile. I've got a few bits I've been waiting to bring up to CEX. So we might just trade it all in one go and see if we can get something decent out of it. Um, but the first pickups from the charity shops. Uh, I think it was the first or second shop I went into. They just had junky games. Um, but I asked the woman there how much they were selling them for. And they were 3 for 150 so I just picked up a copy, FIFA 20, I didn't check it, it turned out FIFA 19 was in there and then a complete FIFA 18, but like, I know, junky games, but for 50 cent each, I'm going to even just use the box for something and then I picked up Halo 3, I did open this, there's, so odd, like there was the GTA 5 Xbox 360 install disc in there and then just one of the Halo discs as well, well they had both the manuals, so I had the Halo manual and the GTA manual so I don't know like for 50 cents I just said look get it anyway we'll throw it on the shelf and you never know we might just complete one of them one day and get something to trade for those Um, probably the best one of the lot in the charity shops was this Just Dance 2019 for the PS4 that's gonna trade I think for about 15 euros so we'll get something decent from that Um, I got that along with this Rayman Raven Rabbids Um, I talked about these in the car I think they were six euro in total for the two games and a few books that I wanted so not bad at all um, and then the last two things that I got in the charity shops this was probably towards the end um, I picked up a copy of 2k15 on the Xbox one this again these games weren't marked uh, asked the one behind the counter 50 cent so that's gonna trade for a bit of flavor so that's grand and then a copy of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood common enough title and um, but I am trying to get a few games together for PS3 because I want to get a PS3 and um, but when I opened it up like what's better than 50 cent game is a 50 cent game twice so two discs the bottom disc is a little bit scratched but I don't think it's going to stop it from playing so I'm not sure why there was two copies of it in there but the top one was immaculate so we won't complain about that um, and then yeah this is just my own pickups over the last last month or so Um, actually I'll go back to the probably at the start of the month I picked up Pikmin 3 Deluxe for the Switch uh, download the demo enjoyed it just looked like a fun little game but yeah played through that that was actually good crack um, and then I have a pile here I've Dishonored 2 on the PS4 uh, just one I never played it was I think I got it in the retro gaming store online it was 8 euro so we'll have a shot of that as you can see we're still not in the game room it's absolute chaos upstairs at the moment and um, but we're getting there so I just picked up a couple of games because I have a switch and the PS4 down here so something to play keeps me going uh, then we titles I got Dragon Quest Swords Alien Syndrome don't know much about it again it was a two euro pickup but it's a Sega title so it should be okay Star Trek Conquest uh, again it was a euro and then I'm a bit of a sucker for these city sort of carnival games so I got carnival fun fair games and fun for a party, that's just something you know, a bit of crack with and have to reset back up. Overlord Dark Legend, never heard of it again, just looks a bit weird, so it was two euro, why not? Uh, I have Red Steel 2, so this is obviously the first one, again, one euro. And then I picked up a copy of Super Monkey Ball, I've never played the Super Monkey Ball game before, they actually look like they're really good fun, so again, another one we just have a go of. And then, uh, pro tip, you probably all know this already, but um, if you collect games, make sure and just tell everyone tell all your friends tell all your family because more often than not if they have stuff they're not using anymore they might just give it to you they might sell it to you uh, so shout out to my sister-in-law Kleena she gave me five Wii games she didn't want anymore Alice in Wonderland looks absolutely bonkers but sure look that's what we want a uh, copy of Wii Play I actually didn't even have that uh, where you wear smooth moves again looks like it'll be a bit of fun uh, Ice Age 3 Dawn of the Dinosaurs and The Simpsons game which we'll give a shot. Simpsons games are normally decent enough. Uh, so yeah, loads of good stuff on the shelf there. Um, also, I had a birthday last week and she got me a little Mario figure as well. So thanks for that cleaner. Um, and then after that, it's just the heavy hitters really. Um, I picked up a copy of Skyward Sword HD. Uh, so the pre-order came with this cool little steel case and a key ring. Uh, I also had to get the Joy-Cons. Uh, they're actually in there at the moment, they're really cool. Uh, we're actually nearly finished that, I've been playing that through over the last few weeks, that's probably another reason why the game room hasn't gotten finished, but we're getting there. And then the last thing I picked up, you'll see it in the background here, this Majora's Mask, it's uh, first for figures. 
that's probably the first thing I've ever bought from First Star Figures. I try not to buy too many collectibles because like that, once I get one, I end up going mad and trying to buy like the whole range. So, but that one was reduced. I think it was like 70 euro. So that's pretty cool. That's gonna look deadly in the game room. Yeah, so that's all the pickups for this month. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I just wanna say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's been watching the videos, who's liked, commented, and subscribed. Uh, the channel's coming along nicely. So uh, just again, thanks a million. Uh, hopefully in another few weeks we'll get some more game hunting out. With a bit of luck we'll have an update from the game room upstairs because I'm just I'm dying to get in there now at this stage. Uh, but we have a few games to keep us going for now. So yeah, once again, just thanks so much and um, we'll see you again in a few weeks. Cheers.